This enormous 36 watt laser is a powerhouse that can complete a job in not only half the time, but also comes with autofocus and fire sensors that could make it my ideal cutter. Better stay tuned, this is your Geek Fix. Sometimes there are times when it's hard not to feel like uh, companies are making changes just for you. Uh, recently I did a video about laser cutting and the best kinds of laser cutters. I explained that why I like diode lasers uh, versus other types of lasers and, and how they're becoming more and more powerful and kind of the best tool, especially for in-home uh, laser cutting. But in that video and since then in our podcasts and in other conversations, I've talked about some of the things that, uh, that I, I don't understand why some laser cutters don't do or, or what I wish that certain laser cutters had. Uh, for example, making them work more like 3D printers. For example, you have the opportunity to use the Z-axis, which would allow you to autofocus the laser as well as being able to adjust to unlevel planes. Being able to cut and, uh, without having to connect it to my computer or being concerned about it uh, disconnecting. Which also brings up power. Not losing a job uh, if it loses power. Uh, being able to start right from where it was, uh, continuing and, and not losing any information. And of course my biggest concern about ever even dealing with laser cutters was fire hazards. Uh, ways to be able to decrease the chance of fire. And then I got contacted by Aitzer, a pretty popular laser cutting company that said, yeah, you know, we do that. And the more and more I look at the specs, the more I kind of feel like it is it is made for me. It's it's made for my needs and what I was looking for. Like it should be my own special edition. Like they should have put my name on it in gold, you know, special edition. But they also said, hey, we have a new laser cutter that's coming out in June. Uh, can we send it to you, you tr check it out, try it out, uh, see what you think of it. And that's what they did. They uh, sent it to me and uh, to try out for free. Now they did give it to me uh, to keep. Also, I'll say that they, uh, that winded me. This thing is really, really heavy. <laughs> I'll say that right off the bat. Uh, it feels like it must have either really been packed pretty tightly or it's just really heavy duty parts because it, for the size of it even, it's pretty heavy. Um, but where was I? Oh yeah, they also said that anyone that purchases this using the link that we'll have down below or up here in the corner, uh, that uh, portion of, of that cell will go to our channel for making more videos, kind of like this. Um, so, but at the same time, uh, do your research and see what you think. Um, I have not yet opened this, so I can't tell you even at the second that I'm saying this, um, but I am very excited about it. Now this is the Acer L2 36 watt laser, uh, and the previous laser that we looked at was 20 watts. And uh, so this is much more powerful uh, than the last one that we looked at. So what do you say, let's go ahead and open it up. <laughs> that is crazy. Check out that laser. It's so big that the bag they put it in doesn't even fit it. Uh, this is probably the one that fits their kind of some of their other lasers probably a little bit better. I mean, it, this thing is huge. Just look at that. Uh, one of the things I like about this, I mean, this is easily twice the size of my other laser, uh, which makes sense. This is almost twice the strength of my other laser. Um, this also has a built-in air assist, so I don't have to drill a hole or put something special. Uh, the tube is all the way up to here. I see that it comes with tubing that then I just connect to that pretty easy. Um, and, and it comes with the separate uh, actual air compressor or air pump um, that you connect to it, the assist itself. And that's nice because my other one did not come with that. Uh, that would be an extra cost otherwise. So, so that's pretty nice. And they both are very high quality looking and like I said, just enormous. I also like, uh, as I'm looking at this, the nice thing about it too is as I'm looking through it, I can see a lot of air and a lot of space. And that's gonna be important for me keeping that laser cool. Um, and, and because remember, air and, and keeping things cool is the key to having these nice cuts, these, you know, really 
nice jobs that we're able to do um, also rely on keeping things a certain temperature. I know everyone says don't use the standard glasses that come with these lasers, uh, but uh, honestly, this particular set seems pretty nice. Um, but I can also, I'll look in to see uh, how good they are. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, they don't seem cheap. Ooh, look at these bars. This is not standard extrusion. This is so much better. Uh, you know, a lot of these, uh, just like with some of your 3D printers, a lot of them just use aluminum extrusion, which there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, this will allow, and as I read their specs as well, this enclosed system will extend the life by about four times that of other laser cutters and also makes them much faster. If I had a better setup for filming this, I would probably, uh, if I was to do this again, I would probably lay everything out so that there's two tables or more space to set this up. Um, clearly, I need a bit more space. And uh, that way I don't miss any parts and nothing else also goes missing in general. Oh, look at that. Love it. It has an actual screen. I, I don't want to pull that off right now, though, but still. Uh, the only thing about it is this is plastic. I don't know that it needs to be metal. I mean, for weight-wise, it's kind of heavy, actually, even in the way it is. Uh, so I wonder if they were to make it like they did the rest of the unit, it would probably weigh a ton. Um, but, uh, I mean, yeah, that's the only thing. It's not cheap plastic, though. You know, we'll say that. It's pretty nice plastic. Pretty sure I got everything out of there. And close this up. Put that uh, over there. Aetzer does provide a manual for being able to assemble this. What's the other manual for? This is a user guide. And this is, oh, is this my assembly one? This is the one for assembly. So this is just plain old for being able to use it in general. So this is my ongoing manual. This is the one I'd want to hold on to once when I have everything put together. Although you probably want to hold on to this in case you have to take it apart and put it together, in case you move or something like that. Um, it has all my parts here laid out. I'm gonna lay out my parts uh, that I've got in a very similar way. So this comes with parts for being able to assemble it. Now one thing I am curious about, you'll remember that with the other laser that I put together, it took two of us. Um, literally, it, it took a team to put it together because it was you couldn't do it without two sets of hands. So we'll see if this is any easier. Well, this is turning out to be a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this would be about the same size as my other one, a little smaller, but I'm having a hard time fitting this one on the table, whereas my other one fit on the table. So uh, maybe it's bigger. I'm gonna measure it here in a few minutes. But I will say that this seems to be a lot easier to put together than uh, my other one as well. So it pretty much was assembled. There are a, a couple little tricks. And I will admit that uh, I think part of my success has been that they've also re referenced uh, videos on how to put the thing together. So one thing I really appreciate is that it included or came with these extra 
spare parts or uh, screws, including these transfer shaft locks, because I, uh, I got a little too carried away in loosening it before uh, sticking the shaft in, and it came out, uh, the one that comes inside of it already. It's already in there. All I have to do is just loosen it and then tighten it. And so I, and I lost the part and ended up needing that extra in order to be able to replace it. That'd be a really hard part to find at the hardware store or something. I do think I still probably will do a little bit of cable management. Um, this might actually be my fault because I think it should have fallen on the outside and I accidentally let it be on the inside so I'm gonna have to probably go back and fix this cable uh, because I definitely don't want to get it cut it looks like it won't cut it but just in case I should go back and, and fix that one of the cool things I like about this as massive as it is as much power as this is gonna require um, I like the fact that they set it up so that all I have to do is plug in one plug uh, my last laser it, it not only did you have to plug in the laser then you had to plug in like some other part I can't remember what part it was and then you had to plug in if you were doing an assist with just this comes with the assist uh, you'd have to plug that in uh, in the end I had to have like multiple plugs for my other one this one you have one plug that, that plugs into the console and then you have an out cable that plugs into that assist and uh, so everything is just tied together very nicely. Love the controls on this. It seems very industrial. Like it seems like other major machinery that you would have. Uh, you have the key uh, for your cutoff switch. Um, you have uh, emergency uh, alarms. You have all sorts of things that are built into this. Um, I did mention earlier on that one of the things I like about this too is something that I always bring up. I always bring up the fear of fire in relation to these lasers. This actually has a shut off or a cut off uh, in the case that it senses overheating or a fire. And so that's also very cool. Now this does come with pretty much everything you would need to start using it right out of the box. They even included this. This right here is a uh, a cutting mat um, which works fine uh, this will keep you from melt you know cutting into your table at the same time I would still recommend using a honeycomb instead or on top of this uh, that way you'll also have more air underneath the cut that you're doing I really like um, the quality of this one this is hardcore heavy-duty stuff so next the the big thing is to test it out to, to see what we can do with it and uh, how it works now there are three ways to access and control the laser the first one being computer while it's compatible with multiple programs the user guide contains instructions for light burn and laser grbl or laser gerbil now while light burn is a more common and accepted program laser grbl is a free open source program that you can also use to create your operation files i'm not sure what the pokemon reference is now answer actually has a library that's free to download it has a bunch of files on it i was going to cut a clock originally but then i decided to just create my own in illustrator then i can just open that file in laser grbl then you can actually use that program to control and set up the machine or you can save it to usb for the second option which is to cut from the usb at this point i can use my touch screen clicking engrave find my file that i have and then from there i can control it <laughs> and then i can cut completely offline one of the benefits of using the USB and doing everything offline is that if the laser gets unplugged and then plugged back in, it'll just resume from where it left off, which avoids any loss of work or materials. So what could be better than that? Well, I can also use my phone. Acer has an app that can be used with their devices. I just click on the app and then I have a few options for creating files. Uh, one of the first ones is that I can actually take a photo. So like I could take the back of my manual here and uh, just uh, take a picture of that. And then I can adjust my brightness and my contrast so I have a perfect file for cutting. Or we're gonna go into my resources and cut something that I already have downloaded, like a apple. Or 
I can draw. I could just draw something. I could uh, can get my paintbrush here, and then uh, I can just draw. Let's see, like that, and then one of these with the, that and that. And, uh, yeah. And then uh, like that. Yeah, I like to like that. I don't know if I'd use the drawing option. Uh, I can also go into local files on the machine. And again, I can control my laser cutter fully using my phone as long as I'm within Wi-Fi distance of it. Now, a lot of laser cutters have this little kickstand thing that you have to put down to determine the length or distance that the laser has to be from the object. But in the case of the L2 laser, it actually has autofocus, which is a super cool feature. Remember that this has a Z axis, which means it can go up and down and adjust itself to be the exact length it needs to be. That also means they can also auto adjust as uh, uneven planes occur or uh, to determine different things. Speaking of uneven planes, this also has an auto tilt sensor or a gyroscope that can determine uh, if it's not level. So regardless of the method, how well does it cut? I found that it cuts very well. In fact, uh, it cuts very quickly. Part of that's because of this large laser. Uh, again, this is twice as fast as their previous machines or many other lasers that are out there because it is easily twice the size. As we mentioned before, most lasers are really between three and six watts. So larger lasers like this are usually made up of multiple smaller lasers. In the case of the L2, that's six, six watt lasers that are redirected into one 36 watt beam. And that's a watt of power. This is the reason why this laser can do things that most previous diode lasers couldn't even be imagined to do. It's a true powerhouse. I mean, it really is a powerhouse. You remember with my previous laser when I showed it, we did an engraving that took eight hours, eight hours to do from beginning to end. With this unit, it takes about four. Now, I want to also mention that this unit uh, is pretty strong when it comes to the blower that's built into it. Uh, like I could feel it uh, from a distance away, even when I didn't have the air assist turned on. So I'm not concerned so much about it overheating or, or having too much uh, heat at the nozzle. However, it also does have a cutoff in relation to any flame detection. So if it does indicate a flame, not only will it shut off, but it'll also give you an indicator on whatever device you're using to control it. So no more fear of uh, burning the house down, which is good because I don't like being in the same room while these lasers are going. I usually do walk out of the room. I do monitor with a camera, but on the flip side, I, being able to shut it off or, or to have it auto shut off really puts my mind at ease. Now, the only thing I can think of that I wish that this had uh, was a way of extending it. Now, now there are legs that will be coming out. By the time that you would purchase this, uh, there will be a couple things that are available that aren't available right now. Uh, one being an extension to make it longer, uh, to be able to cut a larger area. The second one though, is uh, extenders for the legs to make it stand a little bit higher and to be able to cut things uh, like tumblers and things like that. However, uh, and this isn't just eights or all laser cutters that I've seen out there don't really have something that's just built in. One of the things I didn't like about my previous laser is I have to screw on the legs and then I have to hold on to them uh, separately. Um, so I kind of wish that there was something that just kind of flipped out, uh, maybe even, uh, or adjusted, or that was telescoping, I don't know. Uh, whatever it would take, I, I would think that would be a cool addition. So uh, that's the only thing I'd put out there uh, to the Acer team, but because otherwise, I love this machine. It's really, really great. And I love how efficient it is. I love how much less room it takes, how much less uh, plugs it takes, um, and, and how well and how fast I'm able to complete a project. If you're interested in getting this unit yourself, be sure to check out the link in the description or up here in the corner, uh, because not only uh, can you get the discounts that would be tied to our channel, but also a portion of your purchase will support the content that you enjoy on this channel. But let me know what you think. Uh, is this something that you'd want or is this something that you'd buy? Is this something you already have? Let me know in the comments below. Also like, subscribe, 
and stay tuned for our future videos. In the meantime, this was your Geek Fix.